Hello and welcome to another episode of D-Dubs Plays. Last week we made a start on this low income housing district and this week we're going to be expanding the area and adding some detail work. Over the next few weeks we've got some exciting things coming up. Next week I'm going to be doing a tour of the city so far and uh, having a look at some of my favourite spots. The week after that I'm on vacation so I'm going to be doing a console tips and tricks video. It's going to be lots of neat ideas in there to just add that little something extra to your cities. Not long after that, well, I can't tell you yet, but I'm working on a super secret project which I'm really excited about and I can't wait to let you know. If any of that interests you, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. And uh, if you enjoy the video, then hit the like button as well. And if you'd like to say hello and you've got any questions, suggestions or ideas, then jump down into the comments I reply to every comment and I'd love to say hi. Now let's jump into the video. We are going to be expanding over in this direction today and uh, obviously the terrain is a bit of a mess there so the first thing I need to do is use some of that editing magic and prepare the area to build. And there we go we've prepared the area so now let's start laying out some roads. We're going to start by extending the arterial. I think we'll go about 20 in the same direction and then we're going to change direction and move over this way. This will be towards the oil industry eventually. But um, I think 30 should do. And we're just going to take these two pieces out and put a nice curb in in their place. So just like so. I think I want to make this a little bit longer but I just need to sort the terrain out first so let's just level it off a little bit further out this way. That looks good. And then we're just going to extend it by another 10 I think should do. Yeah I think that looks good. Up here uh, let's go from over this side. Uh, we'll go from about there and just join that onto that and then I think we'll go from about there and hook into that there and we'll just add a little curved road section onto that I think that's good I'm not entirely happy with this curve here, so I think I'm going to redraw this road. So I think we'll come out by 30 again. But we will make the curve a little bit longer. I think that's good. I think we can go straight up from there, just join a road into that and let's do that. We've got a nice interesting shape there um, and then if we go straight up. For these roads here, can we fit another one there? Um, we can. Now these two junctions are a little bit close together. Uh, normally I would make sure there's a bit more space between them, but I don't think there's going to be very much traffic in this area, so I think we'll be fine with that. I think that'll be okay. Um, let's bring. Let's bring a road down there. Another one there. Another one there. And let's leave a nice, nice large area there for something. Okay, I think we're gonna temporarily remove these power lines. And we wanna hook up the rail into this area as well. And I think that means moving some of these roads. Uh, let's get rid of these. Let's 
Okay, let's do that. And then that. And then we'll pop another one in just about there. Again, we've got a couple of junctions that are quite close to each other there. But again, I don't think we're going to have high traffic in this area. So I think that should be fine. Yeah, I think I'm happy with the layout there. Now, I'm just going to remove the power lines here. We'll pop those in there. And then we're just going to continue along the back here and down to the train station. We'll also take a quick look at our water. Make sure everything is plumbed in. Okay, so everything is covered by power and water. We can unpause the game, start getting some income in. And we want to think about what we're going to put over in this area other than the housing and offices that we want. Now we do have the disaster response unit over here, which I've uh, not yet found a home for. And I kind of feel like the um, low height and the blocky structure would fit quite well in the area that we're building. So we're just going to move this over here. I wonder if it will Ah, it does. Oh, it does fit. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, let's pop that in there. Yeah, I like that works. We'll just throw a quick temporary power line to it. We can delete these once we've filled in some of the buildings. And what else would we like in here? Okay, funds were getting a little bit low, so I had to run the game for a little bit, but um, I like this mall. I think this will work quite nicely in this area. Um, and I think I'm going to go there with it. I think that will work nicely. As always, we want to pop some services in, so I think we're going to pop a little post sorting office. It's not going to let me put it where I want to put it. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that's where I want it. Yep, that works. I think this little space here actually could be a nice spot to put a crematorium. Let's do that. We can uh, decorate around the area and uh, make it look nice and pleasant. Now we do need to give our sims some transit options and uh, I'm going to pop in a metro station. The line for this though is going to use up probably more budget than we've currently got. I'm going to have to run the game for a little while. Okay, so things are looking a little bit different to how they were a moment ago. It turns out that I forgot to unpause my recording software after I let the game run a little bit. So uh, yeah, we've built up a little bit since then. I ran a line from the metro station here and joined it up to the loop that I've got over here. I've put a line in which runs through here, stops at this station, at this station and then run straight down to the Metro Plaza station. Eventually I'll create a loop that comes back around to this side, but we'll uh, we'll get to that when we start building up a little bit more over here. I'm really happy to see that we've got loads and loads of foot traffic since I put that in, so um, that's always a good thing. We filled out our grid in pretty much exactly the same way that we have over on this side. Uh, lots of concrete and footpaths in between and I've made all of the buildings historic and I'm happy with all of the assets that we've got there. 
Now we don't seem to be getting noise complaints here at the moment, but I have noticed quite a few noise complaints. So I may get rid of the housing in this area and replace it with offices instead. I'll keep an eye on it and see how it goes. I've also left this area here empty at the moment, but I have painted it with a park area. So let's move on to this and start putting in a nice park. We're gonna put in a small park main gate just over here. Let's put it right near the middle there. And then we'll put a couple of side gates over at this end. Put one about there should be good. And one about there. Now we're going to take all the snapping off. Find roughly the halfway point, which I think is about there. That's slightly off, I'm gonna redraw it. That looks good. And then we'll put our road snapping back on again. I think we're going to go from about there with the curved path and oh, where's my there it is just going to do that and the same on this side as well there we go so we've got a nice semicircle we'll get rid of that marker path there and now we'll just bring this one out and Now I think I wanna I wanna curve that a little bit more. We'll go to about there. Yeah, I think that will do. Ah, here we are, more sick people again. And yeah, if we take a look at our noise overlay, it's pretty clear why everyone's getting sick over here. So yeah, I think I'm gonna remove these houses and replace them with offices instead. Okay, let's run the game and let those grow in. Yeah, those assets all work well, I think. Love seeing this much foot traffic. We've got a lot of people heading through the park here as well, which is great. So let's pop some fences around this park. Now if we pop the climbing frame just there, that should be close enough to the path to count as being connected. A couple of gazebos either side I think would look quite nice as well. Sorry, I momentarily lost connection then. Let's pop a cafe in there. And we'll put an info booth and a restrooms just opposite it. I think I want to nudge this over just a little bit. Let's uh Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. And then I think a plaza just over there would be quite nice. And I think the rest of it we're just gonna fill out with some decorations. It's um, it's just a small park. It doesn't need anything too spectacular in it. And if you think about the area that it's in as well, it's, um, it's not the kind of area that's gonna have the most glamorous park. In fact, this is probably a bit too flashy for the area as it is, but uh, it'll do, it'll do. Now I think we'll finish the park off when we get to the decorating time lapse. For the moment, I'm just gonna have a quick little look around and see if there's any more 
larger details that I want to pop in before we get to that. Now we do have the skate park asset which I feel like that would work quite well in this area so I think I'm going to pop that in just there behind the houses. Now I feel like the area behind these tower blocks needs something here. Let's start by popping in some footpaths. We're going to snap to grid and we're going to pop one just around the car parks to begin with. I think that looks fairly nice and uh, gives us a bit of a framework to do some decorating around. I think we need some paths around here as well. Yeah, that's good. And then some paths around the metro station as well, I think would be a good idea. Now we've got cycle lane all the way along this bit here. I think the cyclists can cross and go through the park there, but I think we should upgrade this road over here to a road with cycle lanes. And this one here towards the station as well. And that just gives our Sims good cycle access to the major transit hubs as well. I really do love the volume of foot traffic that's going through this area. Makes me so happy to see Sims walking. And despite the volume of passengers going through this area, the Metro is handling the capacity quite well, so that's fine. Looks like the majority of the sims coming out of here are using the external line. The foot traffic is so, sev so severe that none of the cars can actually leave. <laughs> so it looks like some of the cars are going over to the airport area. There isn't actually easy metro access to the airport they have to go all the way to the central hub and then back to the airport which is probably why they're choosing not to use the metro i might be able to solve that though with a footbridge potentially um Okay, so I've added a subway link. I'm not sure if it's gonna help, but it's always worth trying a pedestrian option. So uh, we'll just run the game, give it a few minutes and see if we get any pedestrians using that. Well, it doesn't seem to be getting a lot of use, but I have seen one or two pedestrians going through it. So um, it is saving occasional car journeys. Okay, I think we're gonna jump in and do some decorating now. And I think we're a little bit short on length for the episode, so I might put a time lapse in as well, but I think we're gonna take our time with the detailing today. Now I can see all of the power grid is hooked up, so we can start by removing these power lines at the back here. We'll just keep that one in there for the time being to make sure the train station stays powered. Now I think I want to remove that pile on there as well so I think what we're going to do is we're going to just delete that there we'll delete that we will pop in an earthquake sensor just about here run the game a moment and see where the power is Okay, and then we'll pop a power line to there. Okay, that's good. So it can be quite difficult sometimes to know where to start when you've got a large area to detail like this. And um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be quite methodical about it. I'm gonna start at this end and just work my way along. Now, this looks like a loading bay here. So I think that needs some road access. So we'll just pop, mm, oh, it won't quite fit. That's annoying. Um, 
Okay, since it's not going to let us put a road in there, I'm going to put a path in instead. And just imagine that it's a short section of road. So we'll just go, we'll go up to about there, I think. There we go. And I think we'd also have a fence along here as well. So I'm going to pop one of these along here. We'll go all the way down to here and then we'll pop it up from about there. Join it in. Yeah, that looks good. And then we can delete that extra bit there. I think here we're going to put a nice little area for people to sit. So we're just going to pull out a little section just like that. We use some bench props around it. It's close enough. No, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm too much of a perfectionist. I can't help myself. And then we'll just add a few of these little bushes around the area here. I think that's quite nice. Maybe a few flowers in behind it as well. And just a little bit of the uh, longer grass over here as well, just to fill it out a little. Yeah, I think that looks like a nice cozy little space. Surrounded by some trees. Uh, we'll put a nice big one in mm, there, I think. And a couple of smaller ones nearby. A little row of those there, I think, maybe. And a couple more over here. And then we just need something in that space there. Um, let's put some of the lantana across here. Yeah, I think that looks good. I think this space is going to be mostly trees. Right, there we go. I think that looks quite nice. I think just a few of these over here looks good. And I think we'll continue that along here. Yeah, nice. And then here, I think this would be a nice little spot for a little kiddies playground. And I like this picnic bench from the um, Nature Reserve prop set. I feel like the one that's in the standard props is just a little bit too big. And uh, yeah, this one looks a bit better in my opinion. So we're just gonna pop a couple of these in along here. I don't like that color change. There we go, so we've got all the same colour, that looks much better. And then we can just finish off with a few plants and trees. There we go, I think that's quite a nice space. Just pop a few little bushes along down here. I think we'll decorate this space here with a couple of planters. And I think we want some park benches along there as well. Now this is quite a large area. I feel like it needs a centerpiece. So we're gonna pop in the horse statue in the middle of this one. And maybe a couple of decorative cannons either side at the front here. Some kind of uh, war memorial. 
and I feel like having a uh, paved area up to the front of it is probably a good idea as well let's go like that and then we'll surround that with some flower beds give this a real sense of importance in this area And maybe just a couple of these in the corners just to finish it off. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Want to fence this area off. Pop some small trees in there. We'll just have a couple of spots where some paths come out. Okay, I don't like that one, but I'll keep this one and then we'll put some some more of these uh, benches outside and this can be a place where the employees come out and have their lunch. That'll do. And maybe we'll put some of the long grass out here as well just to fill the area out yeah I think that looks nice okay so I think I'm quite happy with what we've got over this side so far the uh, the first area we did that just kind of felt like it was a bit of a roadside area so I just filled it with some trees this space here is uh, on the edge of the offices close to the residential so I felt like a nice little space there for people to come and sit and have their lunch was a spot that felt like it worked in the area and then a little kiddies playground just there where residents nearby residents can come and bring their children that felt like it fit as well over by the metro station wanted to give this more of a sense of importance so we've used much more brightly colored decorations and then we had this nice big space here where we put a big statue it felt like it needed a centerpiece and uh, again it's a uh, it's an area that I wanted to draw attention to the metro station is a uh, an important hub for the district so I wanted to make it stand out a little the little space that we had next to it I felt like that could easily be part of the building that is behind so we fenced that off and added some decoration to that area and this really is my thought process as I go through each each spot that I'm decorating is just thinking about what fits here, what, what would feel right. Like around this building, I don't think there's going to be anything too prominent, but a few little trees or shrubs, bushes, that would work quite nicely. Same on a lot of these spots, I think. We might actually have the occasional concession stand. It's quite an urban area, so maybe a newspaper stall or a grill would go well in some of these spots. But yeah, it's very much about taking it one spot at a time and really thinking about what do you want to do with the area? What feels like it would fit in the area? And I actually think the idea of having a little grill here is uh, is quite nice. I'm going to pop a grill just there and we'll pop in a couple of plaza tiles. Do you know what? Let's... Uh, Let's delete those. Let's start with one under the grill itself. And then we'll go along by a couple. And you know what? I think we're going to actually move that back as well. This is another thing. Don't be afraid to change things. If you're not quite happy with the way that it looks, move it around. Play with it. I think these tables would work quite well in this area. They've got quite an urban feel. We'll just pop a few of those along there and I always like to make sure I include a trash can or two in an area like this and a little bit of lighting is usually a good idea as well 
easy to forget the lighting when you play in daytime all the time as I do um, and I do occasionally forget the lighting but uh, it's one of those important little details that is it's good to try and remember if you can I think we'll just pop a couple of bushes along here just to finish the area we're not going to get one in there yeah that'll do then I think just trees in this area here or a tree maybe <laughs> yeah I think a tree is fine yeah we'll just pop one tree in there I think that looks good there I think that's kind of like a newspaper stand and then a uh, couple of benches either side maybe yeah I think that works and I think the rest of these we're just going to pop some trees in Okay, now our crematorium needs a nice set of paths around it. So we'll bring a path up there for the time being. On this side, I'm just gonna do a short concrete path. I wanna try and get that a little bit closer to the asset if I can. gonna let me go there it will good so yeah we just want to put that in as if it's the road and then I think we're just going to bring out a nice curve don't want to connect there um, yeah that's better okay so I've got a uh, a little bit of a loop of path there with some little dead end sections that are coming off and what we're going to do we're going to put some nice little benches in here surround it by trees and um, try and make it feel quite secluded we need to put a nice fence around this area as well just want to try and make this nice little peaceful spot in the middle of this high density area where people can come and reflect and uh, have a little bit of peace to remember their loved ones. okay I like that I wanted to create a nice peaceful space that felt kind of isolated from the mid-rise concrete jungle that surrounds it and I, I think we've achieved that I think it feels like a nice peaceful little spot I think another kiddies playground would go well here Okay, we're uh, 
we're making progress. Mostly just trees and bushes along here. We have got a little concession stand there and a little children's playground at the end. And then we've done the crematorium area. Really quite happy with the way that this turned out. It's um, definitely feels like it's a isolated space from the rest of the area. It feels like it would be somewhere that you could peacefully reflect without being disturbed by the hustle and bustle going on just on the other side of the fence. Now we've still got the park to do here and we've got a few areas over here to do and I think we're going to jump into a time lapse for the rest of this. At least that was the plan but I'm very short on time so instead we're just going to cut to the finished product. Okay Raid Kitty Gardens is pretty much complete now. Let's have a quick recap of what we've done. I filled out the park here and uh, this is the one thing that is not quite yet complete. The trees look great, the assets look great, but I need to change the name. We're going to call this S'mores Park. Raid Kitty's district wouldn't be complete if S'mores wasn't part of it. I've put some trees around the high school here and added a tennis court so that they can uh, play some sports. Just extended the trees around this park here. Added a little abandoned vehicle in behind the houses there. I thought that was a nice little touch. Next to the skate park, we've got a couple of food concession stands and a place to sit. This is the primary school. We've got some seating areas there and a nice row of trees around the edge to uh, give the kids some privacy. We've just added trees around the buildings in this central area. It's not elaborate decoration, but it does help to make these buildings stand out a little bit and give them a sense of importance. I've added little footpaths as well where I think they're appropriate to join up to the buildings there and again there. There's another children's play area over here and a few little um, shopping stands over here as well. And I've also put a couple of small shops in along this area here. And then along the back we've just added lots of trees and rocks to create a border between the district and the highway there, which I think is looking quite nice. All in all, I'm quite happy with the way this district's turned out. There's lots more concrete about the place. It looks a little bit more run down, but we've still managed to add that layer of awesome source with the detailing. I think it's gonna blend really well into this area over here once we get to that. We're gonna have more offices and an oil industry area. And I think we're gonna have a cargo docks as well. And yeah, I think this is gonna make a nice border between that very industrialized feeling area and the much more tourist friendly downtown area that we're going to have in this direction now since i started recording i have got my discord server up and running there will be a link somewhere on my channel page and i think i'll probably add some text closer to the beginning of the video so that people don't miss it this week's recommended creator is going to be over in this district I think and we are recommending Dean Webb this week. Dean plays on PC Edition and one of the things that I really like about Dean's channel is that he manages to get some social commentary into his builds and does it in an entertaining way as well. So um, do check him out as usual the link will be in the description. As I mentioned earlier next week we're going to be doing a kind of a recap of the city. We'll be taking a tour looking at what we've done so far, talking about what the future plans for the city are as well, and um, maybe popping in the occasional detailing if I spot anything as we go through it that I might have missed. I'll also be working on the episode for the following week next week since I'm gonna be on vacation, and that's going to be a special episode. It's gonna be a console tips and tricks episode, and I think there's gonna be lots of nice ideas in there that everybody can use to just add a little something extra to their cities. And of course, not long after that, I'll be working on my super secret project. I can't wait to share the details of that with you, but for now, it's all hush hush. Well, we're going to call it an episode here. I hope you've enjoyed the episode today and I will catch you in the next one. Now we do have this um, disaster response unit. Now we do have that.